So this is the Terrasic DE10 Nano, which is built as a learning and development platform for FPGA. Um, FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. And the idea here is that the circuits in this thing are designed and configured by the developer after manufacturing, hence field programmable. So how does FPGA work? Well, the chip here contains an array of programmable logic blocks and memory that can be wired together in configurable ways. If I provide the right configuration in the form of a, a hardware description language or, or HDL, then I can build circuits and compose logic gates inside this thing to create working hardware. And most importantly for us, if I provide the right configuration or HDL, then I can replicate the hardware from old computers and consoles, maybe even down to the circuit level. This is why the device is so appealing for retro computing. I can create an Amiga or an Atari ST inside this thing and then run it to have a very authentic retro computing experience. Now, how authentic the experience is depends on the accuracy of the HDL versus the original hardware. But what we're seeing is super promising. We already have really good accuracy for old consoles, computers, and also arcade machines. Now, I haven't mentioned the MISTA project yet. So let, let's give some background on that. Realizing the potential of this platform for retro computing, a developer known as Sorgalig or Sorgelig started an open project with the specific intent of recreating retro computers, consoles, and arcade machines on the platform. That is the Mr. Project. If someone asks you, what's Mr.? Um, I would say it's this base hardware, so the DoD 10 nano board, plus retro computer hardware configurations in the form of, of HDL, also known as cores, plus a Linux-based operating system to load and run the cores, plus hardware add-ons. So you can expand your MISTA with additional memory, IO options, a USB hub, or even a case. And the whole thing is freely downloadable and it's open source, so anyone can contribute. Now let's take a look at the hardware itself. On the baseboard, we have the Cyclone 5 SOC, that's under the seat heat sink here. This contains the FPGA and also a dual core Cortex A9 ARM chip to run the host OS. Around the outside, we have the power jack, which uses a five volt DC barrel connector, HDMI out for video, two mini USB, which are used for FPGA programming, an RJ45 socket for ethernet, a micro USB socket, so this is used for your peripherals, so mouse, keyboard, gamepad. Underneath the device, we have a micro SD card slot. This is for the OS and also for any cores or software you want to load onto the device. An eight gigabyte card is included um, with the DE10 kit, so that's plenty. And then in terms of add-ons, I have a, a 32 megabyte SD RAM expansion. You really do need this. Um, the majority of computer and console cores require it. Um, the other add-ons, they're optional. Okay, that's it for the overview. Look forward to installing some cores and trying this out.